guys welcome to tech day and today in this video i'll be taking a look at some of the best applications for the android for april 2017 so before getting started with this video make sure to hit the red button below and don't forget to tap on the bell icon to get the quick notifications about our new uploads so let's get started the first application in the list is called glassware so using this application you will be able to get the statistics regarding an application so as you can see here it is showing how much data is being used by a particular application so it will be showing how much uh, space is occupied by the particular application and when you click on this when you move here you can see the graph so it will provide how much data is being used by the particular application over here so if any application is using more data or you're taking more space on your device you will be able to get notified by this application so guys this is one of the best and useful application for the android device right now and the next application in the list is called Fink. So this application provides what are the devices connected to your Wi-Fi network. So when you open this application, here you can see these are the devices that are connected to your Wi-Fi. So whenever you click on particular device that is connected to your Wi-Fi, it will give in some information regarding the device that is connected to your Wi-Fi. Here you can simply block the device that is connected to your Wi-Fi or else you can also scan the services. For example, if you have a wireless printer, you can do what is you can use the scan services and print the documents wirelessly. It will give the information regarding the device that is connected. So it is something really useful. For example, if an unknown device is connected to your Wi-Fi, you will be able to block this device using this application. So this is also one of the useful applications for your Android device. The next application in the list is called Ampere. Using this application, you can measure the charging and discharging current of your device. Some adapter charges the phone more rapidly than some other adapters. So you can measure the you can measure the difference using this application called Ampere. So you can see this is a minimum current that is being transfer to your device and it will also show the maximum current that is being transferred to your device. This values will change depending on the adapter that you are using to charge your device. So it will also provide some information regarding the device itself. So here you can slide over here, it will give some information regarding your device. Next application in the list is called Meteor. This application provides the network statistics of a particular application. So it simply uses it to test the performance of an application. So when you click on the start testing, it will start the testing of the application and it provides the download speed, upload speed and as well as the ping speed of an application so that you can get an idea how speed is the application is performing. You will get the performance of the application individually so that you can decide whether to have this application on your device or not. As you can see, it is running the test of the particular application. So once the test is finished, you will be able to know the uh, network statistics of a particular application. So here is the YouTube application. So it is giving the uh, statistics of this application and the next application is called as face it actually it is not an application it's a type of game so it is something really different from the usual games that you are so far play so for this application you need to use your eyes to play the game so when you click on this now you need to do what is simply use your eyes in order to catch the x so in order to move the bucket to the right side you need to blink the right eye and in order to move the bucket to the left side you need to blink the left eye if you want to maintain the bucket in the middle position, you need to smile. So it is something different and it uses your proximity sensor in order to play. It is really interesting and it is one of the addictive games that I have so far played. So guys, these are some of the best applications that you must try right now. So I'll be coming up with more videos regarding the application. So hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to hit that like button below and I'll see you guys in our next one.